Imagine a university campus, a place of learning, transformed into a battleground of ideologies. This is the scene that unfolded recently at New York University, where students took a stand against the university's ties with Israel, leading to a series of arrests. This demonstration is a ripple in a larger wave, a student-led movement also seen at Columbia University, where calls for divestment from Israeli affiliations echo in the wake of ongoing conflict. The epicenter of the NYU protest was the encampment set up by protesters at Gould Plaza, near the NYU Stern School of Business. The students' demands, an end to NYU's collaboration with Israeli institutions and transparency and divestment from companies associated with the Israel-Hamas war. Now picture a hypothetical student, we'll call her Maya. She says, we are not against a race or a religion. We are against a system that is causing harm. These words encapsulate the spirit of the protest, a plea for justice and accountability. On the other hand, university officials argue that the protests disrupt the peaceful academic environment. A hypothetical university spokesperson might say, while we respect the right to peaceful protest, the recent actions have crossed a line. They impede on the rights of other students to a peaceful and conducive learning environment. The arrests at NYU have become a flashpoint in a broader debate. Experts weigh in, expressing concerns over the complexities of the situation. A hypothetical expert in international relations might say, these protests reveal a microcosm of the larger geopolitical tensions at play. Universities are often a stage where these issues come to life. This is not a simple black and white issue. It's a complex web of geopolitics, human rights, and academia intersecting. The recent arrests at NYU and the wider student protests are a call to engage, to understand, and to discuss these complexities. What are your thoughts on this issue? How do you see the role of universities in these geopolitical debates? Share your thoughts and opinions and keep the conversation going. Remember, it's through dialogue that we deepen our understanding and find common ground.